The Hoyas are off to a great start, Dick. Hey, I'll tell you it's early, but they're starting to build a little Uncle Mo. They're getting momentum. Let's see if they can carry this early success into tonight's game. And, of course, we look here at our Star Watch. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. The starting five, these kids are the Jones centers. Coach expects them to set the tone as soon as the ball is tossed up. And it's time for the tip-off. And we tip-off here in the first. Looks like they're trying to plug up the middle with a 2-3 zone. Zone offense now. Gave it up. It's not smart to just throw it out of bounds. The baseline inbounds. Loose ball save. Ten to shoot now. Pushes it up. Into their zone motion now. Fires away. Missed the jumper. Pushing that basketball. Now it's a 2-3, changes its look. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And the jam. Now that's what I call showtime. You better believe it, baby. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Fakes it. The freshmen's are a bit careless with the ball. Dick, I'm really impressed at how quickly they get back on defense. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond to the correct rotations. Double team now, bad angle. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. He puts up the tray. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He shoots the jumper, knocks it down. Zone defense right now, 2-3 zone. As the fans chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? Moving it around the perimeter. Number four picks up the foul. First personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They're set to throw it in from the side. And up, and gets it to fall. Now that was a great play right there, Dick. You know, it's a good offense when you can position a player at high post and then have the ball delivered to a scoring threat. Now try to feed the low block. way outside the missed shot the small forward gets the ball and they go into their motion offense working with four round one here i tell you the four round one is key by the big guy inside but the four people on the perimeter better be able to make perimeter shots and it's great when you got a big guy who has the multi-talented ability to step out and make the open jump shot there's a snapshot of some of his averages. Every game you have to bring them. It doesn't matter if you have two points or 20. Everybody in the squad has to be ready to get it done if they're called upon. Second one, no good. And now getting set up here in a four round one. I tell you, that big guy they have that can step out and go inside is really special. He gives you that flexibility, which makes the offense multifaceted. 
They get into a 2-3 zone, Dick. Why? They want to save some energy for offense, if you ask me. And it's knocked loose. Goes up for two. Tickles a twine. Play that zone. For the bucket. Off the glass and no good. Around eight minutes remaining. Number one handles the feed. Top of the circle. Off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Into their zone motion now. Trying to feed inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Now with 10 to shoot. For two. Buried it. Little 2-3 zone. Working it around the perimeter. Number 10 is charged with the foul. Third team foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He found a perfect easy basket. He has a chance to cash him in. It's the first. Charity strike. Dumps it in. We're at the seven minute mark. Tries for two. He drains the bucket. Great strength on that drive. You know, he did a great job putting the ball on the floor and getting to the basket. Zone motion now. Goes up for two. He drains the shot. Right at the circle. Doesn't go. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Zone defense. Guys usually light up, man. Step in a gap, get wide open shots to get the zone. The wings are wide open. Reverse the ball. He hammers it home. Takes it strong to the hoop. I tell you, you know I like the way this kid uses his body, Brad. He's the type of guy you want in your roster. When you want that inside presence, his size and power is an asset. About six minutes remaining in the game clock. And a momentary look from three-point land. Silly mistake. They push it up on the break. Both teams looking to get things going here. They move it into the front court. Great hustle. Good job defensively. For the bucket, you betcha. They look to get it to the inside with the jumper. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. We'll be able to use their tempo and come out with a win here, Dick. Well, it all comes down to execution. If you can put points on the board playing your style, your opponent will have to make adjustments that may affect their tempo. And it's knocked away. Great block. The Lions move into their zone motion offense. Boy, I'll tell you what, Brad. The zone motion offense creates a lot of opportunities if you get ball movement and player movement. If you get people to step into the gaps of the zone and reverse the ball, you'll get good shots. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots from the top of the circle. Scores it. And there's sort of a snapshot of our game tempo. A little half-court action and a little fast-breaking, Brad. 
As a result, we have a balanced tempo reading. They come out in a 2-3. They want to size these guys up for a minute or two. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's going nowhere. Ball yeah, no stolen. Way. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Puts up a prayer. Why is he shooting it from out there? Gave it up. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Is getting it a 2-3 smart at this point, you think, Dick? As long as they keep their hands up and they rotate correctly. On the dribble, gives it up. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. On the left side, the Lions looking good. He got the dunk and won. He saw nothing but rim, and glory on that, baby. What a dunk, Brad. And here's what it looks like if you average out his numbers over the course of the season. That's only tell part of the story, Brad. But as a coach, if you have a few players who can average double figures in multiple statistical categories, you're a lucky guy. Number 24 makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Off the mark. The shooting guard takes the pass. Let's see if they can shoot him out of that zone. Number 15 is called for the foul. First personal foul. And there's kind of a snapshot of their current records and how they're faring overall so far. The goal is to get W's, Brad. If the L column is a lot greater than the other one, that's an issue. Cross court. In the lane. Missed it. Two minutes left on the game clock. Gave it up. He pulls up with a jumper and come up short. Goes up for two. He gets that one to fall. High post, two, three, set. shooting guard gets the ball jumper jumper won't go I tell you they all want to take it to the rack high wire rack baby little tipsy dude Doug Peru They're working around the perimeter we're at the one minute mark puts it on the floor and up and under He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Cross court. From three point range. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. On the outside. And the fans love it. Jump with jaws.
Looks like they're using a 2-3 zone to force the offense to work from the outside. Cross court. He goes up with it. Nope. The shooting guard takes the pass with the big shot. Can't connect. At the half, the Lions are down by four. Columbia seem to have just unraveled from the field there. What a terrible shooting display out there. I mean, it was horrible. Everything about their offense was terrible, if you ask me. And here's our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who's been doing what. Number 41 subs back into the thick of things, Dick. Hey, you can't keep a guy like this out for too long, Brad. He's just too valuable. For the bucket, off target. Nick, what's your biggest knock out of 2-3? Well, the knock is that a good shooting team will light you up, especially from three-point land. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The senior commits a turnover. For two. Off the glass and no good. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Little zone defense right now, Brad. Turnover by the senior. Here they go in transition. The fake. Tries for two. It's good. When he gets the ball, it usually ends up the basket. His coaching staff feels as though he's capable of leading the team in conference and score. Sometimes he gets in a groove and can score a bunch of points in a short period of time. Well, it commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. Here's another solid junior. Dick. You know, by the time you're a junior, you know what your coach expects from you. It's a matter of bringing it every day. It's the second. student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. Two threes old. Got to get that wing. Got to get that gap. Look at that spacing. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. That was nice. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. Zone defense. Play that zone. With a bucket. Basket's good. That's goaltending. The Lions trail by nine. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. to go tries for two he can't get the bucket to fall 
Looking for a good shot. He fakes the shot. He shoots from the deep corner and off the mark. The point guard gets the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Pushing that basketball, help one another communicate. side goes up for two he gets it to go on the wing eight minutes left in the game clock low block off the mark And the fans here are loving the action. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is dusty. Takes his jumper. Missed the jumper. Number one takes the pass. Zone defense right now. Got to move with each pass. Sometimes a skip pass, very effective against the zone. I tell you, he's really attacking the goal. He's going in fearless, and he's absolutely attacking the defense. The small forward gets the pass. They go into the low block. Nice rejection. He stepped right into the mount of that zone, but couldn't get the shot off. Well, the zone did a good job collapsing there. Knocks it down. They work the perimeter. He puts up the J. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. On the outside. They step back into a 2-3 zone. You got to be careful in a 2-3, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Now with 10 to shoot. Way out on the right wing. He tries the jumper. Excellent jump shot right there. Six minutes left on the game clock. He looks at the hoop. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the corner. Busts the J. They had the ball moving all over the place there, Dick. Hey, coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great ball reverses giving him some open looks right now, Brad. Down inside. He shoots the jumper. He misses the jumper. Cross court. it on the floor and up and under. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. Zone defense right now. About five minutes remaining. He attempts the jump shot. Missed it. There's a slam. The Hoyas are in a great position with the time and score on their side. And they're going to have to play more in the half court now, Dick. At this point, playing in the half court would be a wise move. They don't really need to score, but do need the time to come off the clock. The Lions are going to have to desert any ideas of playing in the half court now, Dick, with the score differential where it is and the clock winding down. Hey, the clock nor the score is in their favor. They're going to have to switch up their style and play completely up-tempo. They should be looking to press and score quickly, Brad. around 
the perimeter. Controlling the ball. Number 30 is whistled for the foul. Second team foul. They've been getting exactly what they want so far, and that's points in the paint. Yeah. Well, if you can get the ball inside this many times, your team is going to be out in front. I like how determined they've been in getting the ball in the paint. Cross court. Goes up with it. Nails the J. We're at the four minute mark. The power forward takes the pass. Gave it up. There was no doubt about that one. Zone defense. Up and inside. For two. The shot won't fall. On the right side. He manages to keep it in play. Once again, let's take a look at our star watch. Baseline inbounds. Tries for two. Off the mark. About three minutes remaining. Nick, I think they're going to fall back into a 1-3-1 zone defense here. The Lions now looking to run their stuff against this zone. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. The zone motion offense creates a lot of opportunities if you get ball movement and player movement. If you get people to step into the gaps of the zone and reverse the ball, you'll get good shots. Now with 10 to shoot. The layup counts and the foul. He went hard to the hoop, knowing he was going to get fouled. Well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestle, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. He goes to the line for the first time. Doesn't go. He grabs the board. Going back to a man to man defense now. Was that beautiful or what? So, Dick's so important now at the point. The point guard will set things up and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around with a post guy on the interior. And they're trying to get that ball to the inside, but they're playing with four people on the exterior. Well, the lead is 10, Dick. Are you starting to hear the fat lady? Well, Brad, she could be warming up right now. Oh, did they ever set that alley-oop up nicely, Brad? Excellent spacing. That's so important with a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. the jumper the missed shot work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart he misses the J well it's time to start fouling they got to stop the clock Dick. Number zero, quickly checking back in. They need him out there, Brad, just like I need you, man. This guy is the glue. Foul, and that stops the clock again. The inbounds play. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Here we go. 
And the clock stopped with a foul. The offense begins off the sideline inbounds. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. Foul, and that stops the clock again. He'll go to the line. No good. Nice defensive rebound. Fill the lane. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. And a timeout's called. We got a break in the action. Stay tuned for more NCAA basketball coverage. Just about ready for play to resume. For the bucket. They got to foul quickly here. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. He's typically really good from the charity strike, Dick. He really knows how to focus in on the target during free throws. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Looks like they're setting up into their zone motion. Throws it up. He called for the oop. Then went up and got it, baby. He finally fouls out. He's a tough, tough player, though, Brad. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Got it! He makes his second shot. Go back out onto the floor. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Moving it around the perimeter. He lets it go. He's taking too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's forcing his team there with them. Working it around the perimeter. With the fake. He unloads a three. Too strong. Where I'm from, that's called back-to-back -back wins, Mr. Vital. It's obvious to me that the confidence is soaring. When you have a confident bunch, the level of play really elevates. That's a good win for them, Brad. 